Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to refactor global variables out of functions. So far, we have seen two distinct principles of functional program. One, we don't alter a variable or object. Uh, we create new variables and objects and return them if, if need be for a function. Declare functions, we declare function arguments by computation inside a function depends only on the arguments. The computation inside a, a function depends only on the arguments and not any global variable or object. Adding one to a number is not very exciting, but we can apply these principles when working with arrays or more complex objects. So we want to rewrite this code so that the global array book list is not changed inside either function. The add function should add the given book name to the end of an array. The remove function should remove the given book name from an array. Both functions should return an array, and any new parameters should be added before the book name parameter. Okay, so we've got a global variable here with a list of one, two, three, four strings inside of the array. There's four strings, which I guess are titles of books. Uh, this function should add a book to the list and return the list. So here we're returning the book list, but what we want to do is have the book list here as well. So uh, <clears throat> we could just say uh, the book list, the book name, and then the book list. Uh, we could call it maybe, I, I like to make it explicit, so um, original book list. Okay, so we want to say instead of doing book list into here, we want to change this so that it's original book list dot push book name. And then we want to return not the book list, but the original book list. Okay, cool. Now we're getting an error, but this is to be expected because now we don't have the original book list being passed in. So the function should remove a book from the list and return a list. Well, this one we want to add. So basically we're just taking the original book list, putting the new book on here, and then returning the... Um, the original book list uh, and so therefore we're not altering this function should remove oh so here we want to remove so we want to add code here um, so we want to remove a book name but we should also pass in the original book list uh, this is outside of the scope of the other function so this will be fine to use the same variable name so uh, the book index is equal to book list dot index of book name so this finds out the position so if the book name is um, on the electrodynamics of moving bodies and the index of, and then we ask on the book list, what is the index? And so that index would be zero, one. That would, this would render out to one here. If book index is greater than or equal to zero, which means if the, <clears throat> uh, if the index, if the book is there, the, um, if the book's not there, the the result of this will be negative one because the book name will have an index of negative one because it's not on the book list. This is just saying if the book is in the original book list, then what we want to do is book list dot splice. Well, <clears throat> we could do that, but we could say original, original book list dot splice the book index and one so that means we're going to cut out one and the index here it would be equal to one so one and one would remove the uh, first element so on electrodynamics of moving bees would be removed and now we want to pass back the original book list okay cool now i'm going to slide this out just so it's a little bit easier for us to see original book list dot push is not a function okay, Okay, so here's what's happening. In the um, code down here, they're stating the add and remove. Their original parameter is the book list, and the secondary parameter is the individual book. Now, in my code, I've switched to these because right now I've got book name coming in and then original book list. So this is switched. This is the original, this is the, the book list that we want to play with. So I'm going to remove that here and place it here. I'm going to do that up here as well. Original book list is not defined. Add remove. Okay. 
Okay, so original book list is undefined. The problem is the L. Original book list should be like that. Okay, so now that our code is running, let's see. It, well, it takes add the book list, newer book list. We're going to remove on electrodynamics of moving bodies. And here, now where is the console log? Oh, I'm console logging the book list. Let's say new book list. So what's happened here? The new book list, uh, we're going to add a brief history of time. So it should be a brief history of time has been added to the new book list. A brief history of time. It's actually added twice. That's kind of weird. Console log. Let's see. New book list. Is that? Yeah. Okay. So the new book list, we're going to add to the book list a brief history of time. So we're adding a brief history of time to the book list. That's weird. Let's run the test and see what happens. Okay, cool. Nothing's happened past. Now, <clears throat> we want to add the original book list book name. Original book list dot push the book name. We return the original book list. Let's make it all book list like that. New book list is equal to book list. A brief history of time. So what's happening here is we're adding to the book list a brief history of time again. Hmm. Should not change and still just book lists should not change. So this one should not change, but for some reason, a new book list is changing. So we're alternating the um, array somewhere in here. I think it's here, original book list. Okay, so maybe <clears throat> if we console.log the original book list. And I'm just going to comment this out. So, okay, yeah, original book list. So what we're doing is we're adding to it here and we're adding to it here. The first time that we add, add to it, it's... Um, hmm. Brief history of time. We want to add a brief history of time and then we want to remove on electrodynamics and moving. That seems like it should be right to me. The newest book list. Let's get rid of this console log. The newest book list is undefined. That seems strange. What happens if we throw this guy in there? We have a brief history of time on there three times. We want to pass in book list. And new book list should return. Okay, so instead of saying original book list like this, we can we need to clone it. So uh, the new book list is equal to um yeah. <laughs> a clone of the original book list. And our new book list is what we'll pass back. New book list is not defined. Oh, and we need to say let new book list equal there. And so console log the newest book list. Um, well, let's say the new book list. Let's see if that works first. Okay, this seems to be correct. So let's run the test and so see if they quit. Okay, so we've got this one. So the new book list, uh, when we just add, it has a brief history of time. So that's the one that we just checked here. The newer book list should equal there. So the newer book list, we've got the remove functioning properly, um, apparently. 
But no, I think we should still alter this one. Original book list. Well, we don't want we don't want it we we can't have it be like that. So we need to say we're gonna have to do this here too. So we're gonna let the uh, new book list equal dot 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 the original original book list. And then we're going to say the new book list is we're cutting out that element. And then we're going to pass in the book list that we have spliced out the element. And so now if we run the test, I bet they'll pass. Um, so yeah, I hope that that helps. What was happening there was that I was setting the original book list to the book list. And then when we were in, when I was returning and altering the original array, and that's why we were getting that wacky error. But here we're creating a new variable that's a clone of the original book list. And then we're adding to that um, new variable by pushing the new name onto it. And then we're passing in, we're returning a, a variable that's associated with a brand new array. And that makes it so that we don't alter the original global variable of book list. And so because we were setting that there, now this is, you can do this a bunch of different ways. This uh, could be even set up here or something if you wanted to. Um, I think that would still run. Um, maybe it makes sense to create the clone initially and then see if the clone is part of it. But no, I think it makes more sense to have it up here because then you only create this new variable if the book uh, exists, if the index exists. Because if it doesn't exist, there's no reason to spin up a new variable. Anyways, um, I hope this helps. That was a pretty tricky one. Um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.